You know, stubbornness is an interesting concept. I, when I was thinking about what to talk about, I was originally going to say how it's stupid and it doesn't make any sense to do because it basically closes you off from the possibility of growing. If you're stubborn and think that what you do is best or what you do is going to give you the best results in life, and that can be for various things, whether it's how you carry yourself in life or what ideologies you hold or what actions you take to achieve your goals. If you're stubborn about that, then you're basically assuming that what you have is the best possible answer overall. That's what I was going to talk about, but I was confused how I was going to go about it. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized it's not exactly something that makes sense to talk about. Because that's something that people kind of agree with. Everybody says, yes, being stubborn is bad and you should be open-minded. There are very few people who say, no, don't be open-minded. But the interesting thing is I don't feel like it's an ideal that people maintain. Either you should be stubborn or you should be open-minded. I think that most people claim to be open-minded, but they really aren't. And that's the problem that we see in life. I've seen plenty of people who are open-minded, or they say to be open-minded, but if you try and talk to them, then it's very difficult to break through with them. And one big example is if they want something out of life. Like, they're trying to interact with someone, they're trying to get someone to notice them, they're trying to get closer to a friend, and they tell me what's going on in their life, and I say, maybe you should do this instead of this. And people are often very hesitant to try something new. Now... Obviously, if you're doing something, it's not giving positive results, and you keep trying it over and over again, odds are it's not going to change, unless the situation dramatically changes. But it's not necessarily about how many times you do it. It's about the quality of what you're doing. But, you know, maybe I'm stubborn. Maybe the way I'm describing it is a bad or negative way to do it. Maybe what I'm describing is not an ideal way to solve whatever problem they're talking about. And when they're saying, no, that's not good, you should do it this way, maybe they have a better answer than I do. Because, I don't know, it's like I'm a much more theoretical person, I feel like. I'm better at understanding things in my head. But in terms of applying them to the real world, I'm not too good at that. So I feel like I might have some idea about something, but there's something in the real world that I don't recognize that uh, makes it harder for me to understand how things really work. And I miss something that they know. But how can I tell that? From my perspective, it seems like they're the ones who are wrong. If they think I'm wrong, and I think they're wrong, then at least one of us has to be wrong, right? We can't both be right if we're claiming that the other one is wrong. So how can you tell who's really wrong and who's not? It's so difficult, because I feel like I try and be as objective as I can, but I feel like when I analyze things, I instantly go through my biases. I instantly go through what I think the answer should be and try and find a justification for that and that's not what you should do you shouldn't have a set answer for how things should be and then work backwards coming to a question and all of that you should just have a question and then look for the answer obviously and objectively but it's not a question that people really deny it's just a practice of making sure that you actually do it it's like breaking a habit like smoking for example very few people say that smoking is good for you or okay they understand that it's bad for them. but if, So if you tell them smoking's bad for you, it's not going to do anything. It's a matter of them actually doing it, though. It's a matter of them actually stopping smoking. So it's just so difficult. There's a difference between understanding what you need to do and then practically doing it. And I'm not really sure how to bridge that. I'm trying as hard as I can, but I feel like my biases can get in the way sometimes. So I don't know. I was going to come here giving an answer on this video, but I ended up just with more questions than answers. Then again, maybe that's not a bad thing, though, because maybe it's a sign that I still am growing and there's more potential for my life than I expected. Who knows, maybe I will come up with some great answers and I'll help people. That would be cool. Just keep an open mind, though. Try and be as objective as you can and try not to assume answers when you seek questions.